driving into the van build right now. My phone has been messed up, so I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. Um, we, I had heard through the grapevine, and you know that's reliable, that the road was really rough, and it was a mess, and on and on, and it went from an 8 mile stretch to a 12 mile stretch and so I figured if I listened to any more talk we'd be driving 50 miles back into the, the wilderness here but you know it's a pretty drive it's blacktop the first mile or two is uh, kind of rough You, well a lot of potholes but this highway isn't bad at all and there's some stretches that are 50 mile an hour stretches so you know until you've done it don't listen to the rumors get out and enjoy and people have been asking me could they make it in their road track I believe mine's been lifted I'm not sure but even if it hadn't been lifted I could make it um, and yes I'm a little more daring than a lot of people I'm going to tear it up because I go rip snorting anywhere, but here we are. I'll let you know when we get there. I forgot to mention there's quite a caravan of us, and I believe uh, Terry at Destination Open Road got a video of everybody pulling out. And so we just need to observe BLM rules. Basically, it's this. Leave no trace. Pick up your trash, micro trash. If you see some trash that somebody else left, go ahead and grab it too. So there's no trace of any trash when we leave. Number one. Number two, if you have a dog and it goes its business in a walkway, we want to get it out of the walkway. <laughs> with me. She just got her bad brain done in her van. Very exciting. Of course, I'm not going to give you a tour. That's up to her, not me. But I'll just show you some of the activities. There's several carpentry stations here. It's like there's one, two, oh my gracious, three, four, five, Maybe six. Well, that looks like a silver station on the end. And there's more carpentry solar sewing stations as we go back towards main camp and beyond main camp. As you can see, still lots of people clear out here. And um, at least for, I don't know, a quarter of a mile yet further, they're way down in there. Just saw one of my friends. She tells Captain Lynn to put her name as Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. And I believe the name of her rig is one last road trip. So I met her last year. Okay, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha came over here and told me that I had it all wrong. And of course, I have everything all wrong. You know that. <laughs> so you're naming your big vehicle the okay. Second Chance Mobile. Okay. And your YouTube channel is? With, no, with content no content is The Long Last Road Trip. Awesome. Okay, guys, help me remember that because y'all know I won't remember. <laughs> well, guys, I came down to visit my friend Carol. Hike with me, of course. She's over there camping with our friend Colleen Woods. And Beach Cricket's here. Mike, Living Free, is here and they've got some friends with them. But the whole deal is this fire ring. Is that not the coolest fire ring you've ever seen? I got deep that stack. Really nice. That would block the wind as well. Well guys, I'll show you our camp, our setup. That's Jeff and Margie. Um, Ashes in April. And there's Colleen. I'm right here. There's Scott and Terry. And there's Aja. 
I'm going to come back and show you my solar. Here's Mike, 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 as Blind Beast calls him. Kate, Southern Goodness, Dory, and I'll walk around here. There's Blue Van Dan and Carolyn. And we're all just sitting here finishing up lunch and chit chatting. So let's go check out my soul. So I've got um, oh, a group of them, but Mike, 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 he uh, helped me set up my solar to where I can hang it. It doesn't have to lay on the ground, and it's on, this, on the facing the south, so I get sun most of the day. Um, I think I've ruined my battery, but I'm not sure how old it was, so it won't take a full charge, but... Um, it's working for me and of course i'm so pleased with all the help and then we're located right across from main camp there's jamie's camp and um, that tent right there is where you go in sign up for jobs sign up to help whatever and apparently somebody got a little overheated in the desert sun so but he seems perfectly content sitting there with his bottle of beer. We got music going all day here out of Jamie. And then I can set the tents right there. And I didn't notice earlier that our resident fireman, oh, they put a shirt on him. Oh, funny. Oh, how funny. I think that fire extinguisher is new. Vampire. <laughs> a lot of fun here, folks. And there's the firewood for tonight. Down this way. It goes on for quite a ways, guys. Oh, Living Free Mike showed up. Beach Cricket. They're camped down about a half a mile. Okay, so we had more visitors come. There's Rady, the Graham Cracker, and Dana. And Full yes. oh, tiny, banjo. yeah, banjos. Who I? And there's banjo. Everybody Say knows hi. banjo. Say hi, Barb. And let's see hi, who else everybody. is over here. There's Christopher right, Travel. And there's uh, yeah. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> New. Normatic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. New normatic. Yes. And of course there's Scott. Hey, He's everywhere. I heard you're leaving. Hey guys, and here we have Randy, the mobile traveler. And doing what everybody loves is Randy's cooking. He's a busy guy. I've heard sliders. Oh, is that what it is? I was wondering what he was cooking. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. Hit him on the ass. I'm so sorry. Try it. All right. Holy moly. And here we have Mark. He's the official tester. Tester. It's amazing. Good. If Randy it's, makes it, it's all the plate. Oh, and put one on for me, too.